Hey everybody, so I had a really, really busy week this week. We actually shipped out, I think, 144 snakes this week. Um, it was insane. Tuesday, I was packing from 7.30 in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I had 139 go out that day. We actually had a big export going out to Japan. So um, you might have seen a post that I put on Instagram or Facebook showing a gigantic stack of tubs. And uh, that was just some of the snakes that went out this week. So really, really busy week, but nice to move all those snakes out. I've got you know a little bit of space opening up in my hatchling racks now, but uh, not as much as I'd like. So if you're interested in any of my ball pythons, make sure to go to my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. Make sure to subscribe to our newsletter. We do offer some special promotions and discounts through our newsletter from time to time, so it might be worthwhile for you to do that. Um, so anyway, for this video, I decided to show some uh, calico combos. Uh, calico is awesome. I, I love putting it into as much stuff as I can. Um, I really love the way it not only changes the pattern, but it also gives it some really nice white sides and just white coloration overall. Um, sugar is actually basically the same thing as calico. I don't know if it's ever been proven to be the identical gene, but it's, it's extremely similar if it's not the exact same gene, just from a different bloodline. So, um, but what I'm going to show here is all calicos except for the first one. So this first one right here, he's really irritated with me right now too. He's been striking at me the whole time he's been out here. This is a sugar. He's actually 100% hat for lavender albino. I think the, the lavender version of this is going to be awesome. Um, I did try to produce some last year and I just missed. Uh, I think I did like three clutches of them and I just did not hit on any. Uh, but I did produce this guy um, along with a couple others. So I'm going to try it again this year, and I think I've got, um, I have a pastel sugar male, actually I have two pastel sugar males that are breeding multiple lavender albino females. And, and the pastel sugars are, of course, het for lavender albino. So you can see it just, um, you know, it really changes the pattern of a normal ball python a lot. So there's no other gene in this other than just sugar. And like I said, calico's the same thing. But look at how much it, it changes the pattern of a normal ball python. Just incredible. So I've actually got some adults to show you too. I'm going to show you one more hatchling from 2021 and then I've, I've got a few different adult combos to show you. Okay, this next one so I believe that this is an Orange Dream Fire Enchi Calico Spider. I had to have the spider gene in the male. Uh, it was something with the combination when I, when I produced my Orange Dream Calico stuff. Um, I had to use a spider male uh, that had calico in it. And anyway, I'm not going out of my way to produce spider morphs, even though I do really like them a lot. But um, I had to use a spider I had to have spider in this combination to produce this animal and that just happened to come out with spider as well. But I really think that's an awesome looking ball python and uh, just shows you some of the things that calico can do. Calico and spider actually mix together really, really well and I'm going to show you one of those here in just a minute. Really cool colors on this. I've been debating whether or not to keep this one. I don't think I'm going to because I do have a, a, another Orange Dream Calico female that will be breeding. She actually is breeding right now. I'm breeding her to a Super Enchi Orange Dream Banana right now. So really, really cool. Um, here is a Calico Bumblebee. So spiders being a fairly high white snake anyway, or at least high white on the sides, the calico just brings that white way up. You know, normally spiders have like white sides on the lower part of their body, but the calico just pushes that way up. So they mostly only have pattern along the back. This is a female from 2014, and she's actually laid one, two, three, four, five clutches for me so far. She doesn't really have much, if any, head wobble. I'm sure she has a little bit. If you really agitate her enough, you can probably see it. But she's been a great animal. She's a great feeder. 
um, just really nice snake and I just I love the look of this um, this combination so I'm gonna keep making them okay here's another one of my favorites this is a bamboo calico and it's also possible yellow belly and uh she she only produced once for me so far she's from 2018 she gave me one clutch but it was only four eggs uh last year and i bred her to a super ng spider a super orange orange dream ng spider sorry and her head kind of makes me think she's pastel too I'm just not sure that that head is crazy. That's the probably the brightest head I've ever seen on a bamboo. So I still have a little bit to figure out with this one. Like I said, it, I think she's probably yellow belly. Uh, just judging by how sharp the contrast is with her, I'd say probably. But um, you know, hopefully this year's breedings will help me figure that out. This year I'm actually breeding her to a coral glow chocolate. It's a female maker, so I should be able to produce some really cool stuff out of that. But I just love, I, bamboo is a really difficult gene to get the pattern to disrupt a whole lot. You know, most bamboo combos look mostly like a bamboo. But um, with the calico, you know, it really disrupts that pattern and really adds all that white in there. I just think that's a, just a really, really cool snake. Okay, this one is a super enchi calico. And let me look and see if there's anything else in her. Uh, she's also a possible yellow belly, and she laid one clutch this year. Um, there were a total of six eggs, but one was infertile. I'd say she probably is a yellow belly, but a little hard to say for sure. That nice super enchi head on her, and just a really cool pattern. You know, she she has less white, I think, than most of the other calicos that I have here, but really cool pattern. Um, nice colors too. I'm actually breeding this one to a banana enchi leopard. It's also a female maker, so I can make super enchi banana leopards. Super Enchi Banana Calico Leopard with this. And then if Yellow Belly's in there, that's even better. Okay, then my final snake to show you. This one is a breeder that I've had here for a number of years already. And I just, you know, I have snakes here that are genetically superior to him with the same gene combination, but I just can't get myself to move on from this guy. This is a banana calico yellow belly. Just three genes, but he was the first of his kind when I, when I hatched him out way back in, I think it was 2014. Yep, back in 2014. So, um, yeah, I just, I love the colors on him and the high contrast, you know, and when I first produced him, I didn't know for sure if yellow belly was in him, but other banana calicos that I produced generally tended to kind of fade out a little bit and they didn't have like the really nice deep oranges and yellows and, and the high contrast that this guy has. And then I did prove him out to have yellow belly in him. Um, I actually bred him to eat something with the yellow belly and produce some ivories. Um, so yeah, he's just just a really, really cool snake. I love him. This is one that I could see just keeping as a pet. I don't know, for some reason, it just got really attached to this guy. He's made some gorgeous babies. I've produced some really nice calico combos uh, with him over the years. And actually, I believe that he is probably the father... I'd have to go back in my records and look, but he's probably the father of at least a couple of these breeder females that I have in here. He's been a fantastic breeder for me. 
All right, well, that's all I have to show you. I've actually got more calicos here. I might save that for another video, and I'm going to be producing quite a few new ones in 2022, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to like and subscribe, please, if you would, uh, and also make sure to visit my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com, and I've got a really cool idea. Uh, I've got a kind of a special project, uh, long-term project thing that I want to show in my next video, so stay tuned for that. I'm still Basically, I'm still working out the kinks in this this project. I think I might have hit on a new morph 10 years ago, and I'm still kind of working on it to figure it all out. So anyway, stay tuned for that little tease for next week. Um, so I'll be back again very soon with that video. So hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you soon.